hi everybody hi how are you and once again welcome to my youtube channel my name is zawadi rose thank you so much for finding time to listen to me i'm really really grateful we give all the thanks to god for giving us yet another opportunity to be interacting giving me this opportunity to be alive well and healthy uh, to uh, be sharing something that i really think is going to be helpful to you again welcome don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe you can also hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted on all the new videos that i'm going to be posting as i promised in my previous video um, uh, video i'm going to try and be very really be very very consistent as god is going to help me so once again welcome and um in my previous video i did tackle an issue that is really really important uh not just to me but important to all of us and i tackled the issue of low self-esteem and i believe a few people have talked to me and it's been really really helpful thank you so much for the new subscribers we are still new but i believe that you're going to go on with this journey of encouraging one another and also sharing uh the word of god yes why not so i need to remind you that god loves you and as i said in the other video learn to love yourself learn to appreciate yourself this is going to be really really important because nobody is going to pull you down so today before i go into what i want to talk about i want to ask you a question do you think that it is important for us to have peninas in our lives do you think it's important for us to have peninas in our lives and where is penina coming from <laughs> yes uh, penina is coming from the bible we all know the story from the book of first samuel the sto uh, the story of hannah uh, the wife to elikana who had a co-wife whose name was penina and penina was actually a thorn in the flesh of hannah he, she could keep uh, uh, pricking and pricking and pricking and life was really hard for for hannah and she she was a constant reminder of Hannah's infertility from what we learned in the bible is that Hannah was infertile and Penina the co-wife was blessed with children so you imagine this situation where you're in the same compound with uh, your co-wife who is blessed with children but you're not Mm? and you can just imagine uh, the insecurity that probably hannah had and the fun the fun moments that penina had uh, mocking uh, mocking hannah it was really really bad for her but today i'm asking do you think it's important to have a penina and my answer is yes my answer is yes why but before i tell you why what was Pen uh, what was Hannah's reaction every time Penina took the opportunity to mock her? Um, what Hannah did, which I, is very very intelligent, and I find Hannah as a very wise woman. She did what most of us are not able to do. She could quip quiet. She could not talk back. She could not hurl insults. She could not compete with Penina because she knew that competing or doing a battle of words, exchanging words with Penina was not going to be helpful. Penina, uh, Hannah continued to be a, a good wife to uh, to her husband Elikana and continued doing one thing that we forget to do. She continued praying to God. She continued reminding God of her infertility and requesting God to remember her. She continued praying God, uh, praying to God and 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 asking him to give uh, to give her a son. And all this time because I believe it it took time. It took time before her prayer was answered. But it also took the push from penina so the importance of peninas is that they give you the push that you need the push that you need so that you do not forget there is something that you need like the push the pain she's she was a pain in the neck of hannah like the pain that you feel when you're about to, to give birth minus that uh, uh, minus the labor pains minus that pain minus the contractions you cannot deliver the baby that you're, you're supposed to uh, that you're supposed to deliver and this is who 
this is who uh, Penina was to Hannah. Uh, she was the pain that, that that Hannah needed in order for her to be able to push until she was able to get what <laughs> she really wanted. And that is the importance of Peninas in our lives. Peninas keep us on our toes. They keep reminding us if you are jobless, they haunt you and haunt you. They keep reminding you of how jobless you are until you work so hard. You press so hard until you get that job. They, uh, it's it's not a very good thing because when you're going through difficult moments, you feel that what you need is motivation, what you need is encouragement, what you need is even someone to help you go uh, walk this journey. But uh, sometimes we lack these people because I want to believe that we are not all of a place where Hannah had women friends who were praying with her and supporting her but i want to believe she only had the husband who loved her the way she was and probably the husband could have been okay even if even if hannah did not get any children but hannah knew that she needed a child she needed children so she kept uh, praying she kept being persistent in prayer and i want also to believe that it is not just a penina herself who was mocking her, who was a pain in her neck. I can imagine, even in today's situation, when a woman is infertile, when a woman doesn't have children, the in-laws are on your neck, the society is on your neck, they look at you like someone who is not supposed to be in a marriage. You're not supposed to be married if you're not getting children, especially here in Africa, it's really difficult. But... Um, Sometimes this is the push that we need. These peninas are what we need so that we can be able to also continue praying to God, continue pushing and pushing until God hears us. They are there to make sure that we do not give up. Because if we give up, then what is going to happen? If you look at Rachel's situation, uh, 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 Rachel was married together with her her sister was Leah, and Leah was 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 getting children while Rachel was not, and that was a uh, and. I believe that there are times when they could get into arguments and probably Leah could remind Rachel that she did not have children. I want to believe so. And Rachel could use this to, to remind God, God, please uh, remember me and give me children. The, you know, these people make you even go through periods where you keep even repenting for sins that you don't even know because they are constantly in your neck. Even when you try to avoid them, you find that if you... If you Avoiding walking on a particular path because you know that is the path they are using either from the market or from the church or from wherever. You find that it's like they knew and they use the route that you're using. These people don't, uh, they don't really care where they are. Even in touch, they'll mock you. In the market, they'll mock you. They'll mock you wherever you are. If you look good, if you dress nicely, they will remind you, hey, woman, you're dressing nicely yet you don't have a child. You know, they will mock in every situation. Uh, they, they'll make you feel even unwanted. And this, uh, what, you're, what you're supposed to do in these situations, you're supposed to behave like Hannah. Don't hurl insults at them because definitely you will not win. You can only win when you're in the same path with God. When every time you feel solo, every time you feel humiliated, every time you feel like, no, this is enough, you go on, down on your knees and you, you talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Hannah prayed to God. It reached a point where even the priest, when she was in the temple, even the priest, whose name was Elim, asked her why did you drink so early but hannah told her i'm here praying to my god crying out to my god so that she uh, he may remember my infertility and bless me with a child and that is the moment where even eli himself blessed hannah and later hannah was able to conceive and she got the child the baby boy whose name was samuel and by the way she had made a vow to God that if God, you bless me with a son, I will give that son back to you. And that is what Hannah did. If you continue reading the story in the book of 1 Samuel, you'll find that when Hannah got Samuel, uh, she dedicated Samuel uh, back to God. And every year she could go, uh, when she could go to offer sacrifices in the temple, she could make uh, let me just call them clothes uh, for Samuel. She could go see him, but she had kept her promise. So sometimes we tell God, God, 
and this is something that happens to most of us it has happened to me a few times and i know i didn't keep the promises god may god forgive me and i i learned a lesson that i will not be asking god and telling him you know if you do this then i'll do this if i'm not sure i don't make any promises don't make any vows with god because now that will end up being a sin if you do not fulfill uh the story you know you if you know the story of um Jephtha and I'll talk about the story of Jephtha <clears throat> in my next video. Jephtha had made a vow to God that if he wins uh if he was going to war and he told God that if I win when I go back home the first thing that I'm going to meet on my way on my way to uh, as I enter my compound that is what I'm going to offer a sacrifice and unfortunately what what the first thing that um, met him or the first thing he saw was ha was his daughter the only daughter and she, he had to keep the promise so sometimes the promises we make also i think we should be careful but that is a story for another day so what am i saying hannah kept her promise god also had seen the faithfulness of hannah because hannah was consistently faithful he did, she did not go out to look for options there are so many options that we look for when we want to solve our problems you know these options she did not she knew that god you have everything up in heaven you have every single thing god you have the answers to all my problems and it is you that i'm going to keep pushing it is you because i know you have the answers to all my problems and that is what he did she did until god finally answered yes hannah was really really faithful can we be faithful even with this push from the peninas even with this stress from peninas because you really give you sleepless nights sometimes someone will just text you especially now that you have technology uh, i believe ba back then if there was technology hannah could have been in a lot of trouble because if she could have been in a whatsapp group then women could be some women could just be deciding to remind her you know what mm, you're here uh, instead of getting busy and looking for a child you know people will you, people will go to facebook and remind you you see it happening every single day i've also had people mock me on facebook yeah it has happened because of some situations <laughs> so these things happen but these people um keep you on your toes these people make you remember that this is something that i really need to keep fighting for i have to keep pushing god they are pushing me i will push my god until he answers my prayers so peninas are important they are super super important and it is good not to to, to just give in into the pressure by fighting back fighting back using words fighting back using other weapons or even sending people to beat them up fight back by going on your knees be faithful to god and by the way i have to, to just just um as a by the way hannah was not the first woman to be infertile in the bible there were three others she was a fourth there were three others before before her we had sarah who gave birth to isaac at a very old age and by the way this is so chronological because after sarah there was rebecca and uh, rebecca was isaac's wife and isaac was sarah's son after rebecca uh, there was who rachel and rachel was um, jacob's son uh, jacob's wife sorry and jacob was isaac's son so there's a bit of a history a family like a family issue but all of them god was able to bless them but there's a lot of faithfulness that we see in these women a lot of consistency in believing in god although you see sarah laughing at some point when she was told that she's going to conceive and she had also made a mistake a mistake that we should not do when sarah looked for her guy to to have a child with uh, with abraham which she later regretted these are some of the mistakes that i would say that we make when we look for options when we feel that we are tired of waiting for god and we look for shortcuts we look for options we end up making we are we end up making mistakes i pray that god will help us to be faithful sometimes we wait until you like no you know what god is not listening i've had so many situations where i also ask god are you sure are you sure you're still with me are you sure i should also continue being faithful so there are these situations i've seen but i've seen people waiting for so long especially people who are childless they wait for so so long people who are looking for jobs and they wait for so long people waiting for uh, looking for to get married and they wait for so long uh, 
and you know a lot of faithfulness comes in but also a lot of uh, feeling of giving up we always feel like we are tired we've been in these situations and we feel that god you know what i'm tired i have my papers i have my degree why am i not getting a job you 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 find your classmates some people who even dropped out and you continued with your education but they are living very lavish lives they are living very good lives you know some 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 ladies who you you could look at them and you like this one the way she is a criminal she will never get married and ends up having a very good husband and living a very good life but you think i have been so good why am i not getting married so there are these situations that we go through and we feel discouraged you feel that no god no god no i am tired you're good to your husband but he treats you in a bad way you're good to your wife but she treats you in a terrible way she becomes unfaithful and stuff like that so there are so many situations that we go through but the most important thing is sticking by god sticking by god being faithful to god and when you're faithful he is also faithful when we pray for god to give us breakthrough to get jobs and uh, you get a job be faithful in tithing why you don't want to tithe and you want god to be faithful to you so there's also a part for us to play uh so what i wanted to say today is that yes peninas might be thorns in our flesh might be giving us so much pressure but that is the pay pressure that we need so that, so that our pressure will push us into uh into uh, getting into our destinies as i said minus peninas we might just not just give up and just we might just forget and you know yes so peninas are important but i wouldn't like to be a penina in anybody's life honestly i wouldn't so i hope you find this video really helpful uh, i believe this is something that you needed to hear at this particular time i also like it when i listen to messages of encouragement uh, i like it when i listen to people who to remind me that it's not yet over it's not yet over until it's over uh, people who remind me that even if the situation is really tough i don't need to surrender do not surrender you know there's this famous saying that you better fight on you die on your knees than better fighting than die on your knees or something like that yes keep fighting keep fighting do not give up go down on your knees and pray to god not down on your knees because you've surrendered no god bless you so much don't forget that god loves you don't forget um that it's important to love yourself love yourself so that you will have extra love to give to somebody else because minus loving yourself you cannot love anybody else minus loving yourself you're going to lose hope and you're going to give up in this life you're going to come across so many challenges but do not uh do not lose hope once again don't forget to like don't forget to share and subscribe i'll be really 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 grateful god bless you my name is rose see you in my next video if you have anything you'd like to say to me uh you can drop a comment god bless you bless you bless you i love you